Hi everybody, welcome to the third week of Ignite Home Dumbbell Workout Series designed to get your summer body game on point. I'm Coach Ali, I'll be your personal trainer throughout the series. This is Steph and she's your assistant trainer. Steph will demonstrate modified exercises to accommodate restrictions and injuries that you might be carrying. Let's complete every workout with maximum result and minimum risk to injury. Ignite series is all about getting your body lean, toned and ready. It's particularly useful if you have an important event coming up and you want to look your best in just a few weeks. Follow along, train with us and let's wow your audience with incredible physical presence by completing the Ignite Home Dumbbell Workout Series. We created our Ignite Home Dumbbell Workout Series to give you the perfect balance between strength training and fat burning. This week we'll bring you three fresh workouts. All workouts in this series will start with 30 minutes of dumbbell strength training, focusing on different body parts to create shape and firmness. Then we move to the full body fat burning workout segment to get your body lean and toned. Our fat burning exercises will change weekly. Please make sure that you train to every workout of the Ignite series in the order we release them. Be consistent and don't miss any workouts along the way. The best way to stay on top of this series and smash your body transformation goals is to subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss our weekly uploads. Then simply trust Coach Ali's experience of nearly three decades transforming thousands of bodies at the gym. He transformed my body and he can do the same for you too. If you're interested in maximizing your results and supporting our program, then please hit the blue join icon and become a channel member. You'll get access to exclusive training and nutrition content reserved for our members and available through the members community. And you'll help us build more workout programs for everybody. It's time to get down to business. Make sure you have some clear space around you free from trip hazards and please make sure that you're medically cleared to train along with us. Have a bottle of water handy and reach for it between sets. Remember not to consume calorie beverages during your workout as this will slow down your conditioning. Enjoy today's home dumbbell workout with full body fat burning and let's get toned and summer ready together. Let's do it now. Let's start the warm up for our dumbbell workout to get lean with some single arm sumo thrusters. You can see that we have a nice wide base and that our toes are pointing out at 45 degrees. We're dropping into that squat and then coming up and shoulder pressing on one side only. Given that this is your home dumbbell workout warm up exercise, you might start off nice and shallow with those squats. And as your body starts to warm up and we start to get the blood flowing, you can start to increase the depth. We've got two sets on one side and then two sets on the other side as well.
A great addition to your dumbbell workout for a summer body is alternate neutral presses. So you can see the starting position is low with your elbows tucked in and those dumbbells sitting at your ribs. And then we're alternating presses, hitting those lefts and rights, but maintaining the neutral hand position. So there's no twisting of the wrists, just a vertical movement straight up and then bringing it back down to your ribs. Make sure you keep your lower back nice and flat and controlled steady action. narrow bench push-ups for this exercise. We're doing it on a bench, but if you're not using a bench today and you want to do it prone on the floor, then that's okay as well. Just make sure that your elbows are remaining tucked in by your side and that you've got nice depth in your push-ups. If you can't do your push-ups the way we're doing it, you can always do it on your knees. Now make sure that you've got your tailbone tucked in marginally so that you've got good core engagement and that you're protecting your back as well. And just nice steady repetitions for 40 seconds. This is the dumbbell crush press and it's fantastic for getting toned with dumbbells. You can see that we're squeezing the head of the dumbbell together and this is what's allowing us to control the dumbbell. We want vertical movement straight up and then all the way down to your chest. Now it's really important not to lose grip on this one guys because you don't want that dumbbell landing on you so just be careful with that. As far as the posture is concerned again make sure that your lower back is pinned against your bench or it's pinned against the floor if you're not using a bench today.
These are some dumbbell halos and it's a fantastic mobility exercise for your shoulders guys. And basically what's happening is the dumbbells just changing balance from one hand to the other and the motion is just going around our heads. So again, this is going to give you really good mobility and a great exercise to test the range of movement that you've got in your shoulders. Now make sure that your hips remain underneath you and your knees are marginally bent and make sure that we're not getting too much movement in that upper body. Some straight up and down shoulder shrugs added to your home dumbbell workout today, guys. Now you can see we're exercising ample control on the way up and also on the way down as well. When you lift up, I want you to try to reach for your ears. And this is a really good way of getting ample range of movement. And then just allow your shoulders to drop all the way down. Make sure your knees are ever so slightly bent and that your hip remains underneath you. We don't want your hips pushing forward because we don't want pressure on the lower back.
These are Turkish delts raises. So start in your center position and then lean to the side and make sure you've got ample support with your elbow and forearm. And the motion looks like a front raise, but you can see it's at a 45 degree angle. So this is a fantastic holistic exercise for your shoulders. It's going to hit the lateral and the posterior head in particular, but then it's going to work its way through your rhomboids and your traps as well. At the top of the exercise, you want to make sure your arm is nice and vertical and make sure that you're returning the eccentric component with with ample control. These are dumbbell reverse flies and it's another great inclusion to get lean at home with dumbbells. We're hinging forward and making sure that we're keeping a nice flat back. And by having your knees slightly bent and nice and heavy on your thighs, you're going to get good use of your erectors and this is going to help protect your posture as you do the exercise. Then I want you to throw those arms up into that crucifix position and just making sure you're holding soft elbows. When you're at the top of the exercise, you want a straight line from dumbbell to dumbbell. Return the eccentric part of the exercise size with ample control over your movement.
bent over rotating dumbbell rows for this exercise. So you can see we're starting at the bottom in a comfortable position with your palms pointing back at yourself. And as we pull up, we rotate our wrists by 180 degrees and tuck those elbows in by your side. So you're going to get really good contraction in your lats, but you're also going to get really good contraction in your biceps as well for this exercise. Make sure your back's remaining nice and flat on your hinge and try not to go up and down too much as far as your torso is concerned. These are some renegade rows and it's a really good compound exercise because you're using a lot of core strength and stability while you're working your lats and biceps. We're doing these one side at a time so you're going to have to go an entire set holding yourself up on one side. So it's going to test you, it's not going to be particularly easy but make sure that you lift that dumbbell vertical all the way up until you get it to your ribs and then you can release nice and slow and you can rest it on the floor if you like.
These are dumbbell spider biceps curls. Now, it's essentially mimicking doing some preacher curls without a preacher bench. So you're using your knees to support your triceps and this stops your elbows from moving around. So then we can hit really good full range biceps curls with your exercise. The fact that you're in that squatting position creates a nice compound element because now you're using your legs and you're using your core as well. So it's an interesting variation of a biceps curl and it's a good one to try during this particular program. A great addition to your dumbbell workout is to do some concentration curls, but you can see we're doing it with a hammer hand position. So this is really going to hit the lateral head of your biceps, which is the outside of your biceps, the more visible head. And it's a fantastic exercise for toning, helping you with that appearance of a summer body. You can see that we're getting really good range of movement all the way up, all the way down, nice and slow with controlled movement.
supported skull crushers for your triceps guys we're going to do this one arm at a time so you can see what the opposite arm is doing it's basically holding onto the biceps and keeping your arm in place so that there's no movement in your elbow now you can comfortably drop that dumbbell back towards your ear and then make sure that you've got the 90 degrees range of motion and push straight up until you've got a nice vertical arm let's try a couple of sets on one arm and then we'll switch it up and do a couple of sets on the other arm as well Well done for getting through the strength component of today's summer body home dumbbell workout. Now you're perfectly primed to burn body fat. So let's start our full body fat burning segment for the week. If you're monitoring your heart rate, let's make sure we keep you in your fat burning zone. Those of you joining us for the first time, let's calculate your fat burning zone. 220 minus your age is your theoretical maximum heart rate. Record this number and then multiply it by 0.67 so we can get two thirds of the way there. Now you're in your fat burning zone. Try to stay around your fat burning zone during the entire fat burning segment of the workout. 
If you drop more than 15 beats below your number, then pick up the pace and get back in the zone. If you shoot more than 15 beats above, then slow it down and get your heart rate back under control. Another important tip is to start this segment straight away while your body is low in sugar energy. Now is not the time for protein shakes or calorie supplements. Instead, stick with drinking only water until the end of the workout and you can replenish calories and have your post-workout supplements after finishing the complete workout. Now let's continue. All right, so these are fast sumo squats with a hand swap and they're perfect for our full body fat burning component. Just make sure that your stance is wide enough and that your toes are pointing out and that you're nice and comfortable as far as your knees are concerned. And just try to maintain your posture when you do this exercise. Let's go. I'm doing some dumbbell crisscrosses with this one so you can see I've got that jumping motion going in all four directions and Steph is stepping into it so if you've got any problems with your knees or if you can't jump then make sure that we're just stepping into it. If your heart rate's gone up too far then do it the way Steph's doing it as well and this will help you get your heart rate back down a little bit. Dumbbell suitcase cleans for this exercise, guys. So you can see the dumbbells on one side and we drop into that relatively quick squat. And as we come up, we pull that dumbbell up to our shoulders. We'll work one side for a couple of sets and then work the other side as well. Let's go.
I'm doing some dumbbell cross jacks for this one, you guys, and you can see that Steph is doing some side-to-side -side shuffles instead. So if you've got any trouble with the impact of the cross jacks, do the side-to-side -side shuffles instead. But if you're okay with it and you can still manage to get your heart rate up, just do what I'm doing. Let's combine fast feet with some side to side motion. So you can see we're moving about five, six feet across to one side and then keeping the fast feet going and moving back to your originating position as well. Try to keep a nice high pace on this one and stay on the ball of your foot the whole time and try to maintain your posture. Have some fun with it, let's go. We're working the top half of a burpee, you guys. So we're squatting down, leaning forward, touching the floor with the palm of our hands, and then working all the way up as well. This is relatively easy, so let's do it high pace and make sure that your knees in particular are comfortable throughout the whole set. Uppercut, uppercut, jab, jab for this one, guys. 
Make sure that you're using light dumbbells for this one, guys, and keep those hips moving. The power comes from your glutes. Try and stay nice and light on your toes and try to keep a high pace throughout the whole exercise. Let's go. Well done for finishing today's Ignite Summer Body Home Dumbbell Workout Series with Coach Ali and I. If you enjoyed your workout, then please make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so that you don't miss the next workout in this series. If you think your friends could benefit from this series, then please share a link of this workout with them. Now we recommend moving on to our post-workout stretching and cool down with our in-house physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. As always, thank you guys for training with us and we look forward to bringing you another full body dumbbell workout shortly. And let's take that body transformation of yours to the next level. Take care of yourselves and each other.